should people who have joined Greek letter organizations read the book Stolen Legacy? The answer to that question is yes, they should. <laughs> but not just them. Um, Stolen Legacy, the book by George D.M. James, um, is required reading for pretty much every person of color, not just one group or another. Like everybody should read this book. The whole premise of Stolen Legacy is how Greek philosophy is stolen Egyptian philosophy. Um, meaning that pretty much everything that the Greek scholars get credit for is information that was actually stolen from ancient Egypt. And instead of giving credit to those who taught them the certain lessons, they, um, they, they meaning the Greeks, decided to put their name on it and claim it as something that belongs to them or something that came from them, something that they developed on their own, which is um, absolutely false. Okay, Africa is the base, is like the home of the root of all civilization can be found in Africa, okay? I mean, it's just a fact. We already know. But that didn't stop them from totally disrespecting and taking what they didn't come up with and still put their name on. Yeah, that's disrespectful. And um, it's not just something that happened in the past. Africa can, is continued to be disrespected and pillaged and stolen from like today. Today, right now, this second, somebody is stealing something from Africa. And it's um, kind of a travesty, really. It's overwhelming to think about. It's kind of sad, but... The bottom line is that it needs to stop one way or another because it's not right. Just because something has a long generational history of happening, that doesn't make it right. So, um, you know, yeah, the Greeks stole Egyptian philosophy, but white people have a history of stealing, stealing <laughs> for years and years and years and then gaining credit for the things that they stole and then taking advantage of the things that they get credit for. That's just the cycle that it goes into. And um, it's just not right. But anyway, that's not the subject of the video. I don't want to get off topic. To get back on subject about people in sororities and fraternities and you know, whatever. Um, there's an argument that says that people who have joined those organizations don't know their history because um, great letter organizations are based in um, Greek alphabet, well, like European alphabet. And since that's not indigenous to African people, black people, mel melanated people, you know, brown skin, hello. Like, okay, whatever the argument is, okay? Because I don't argue about it. I'm just saying that is an argument that people say. And um, I think the argument is a little dry personally because um, if you like grew up in the United States of America, then you have some. Um, European standard Western cultural things that you're interested in or things that you participate in so it's not necessarily right for you to judge somebody based on something they're interested in because they could always go back to you and say well you do X Y and Z and then how does that help us to point the fingers at each other when we should be trying to uplift each other and help um, each other understand a deeper knowledge if um if the people you're talking to so choose to accept the deeper knowledge maybe you know everybody is not on the same spiritual or knowledgeable path here to self-enlightenment okay we all have to take our own journeys and our own paths so my personal opinion is that we shouldn't be judgmental of the other choices that other people make um because we're all on our own journey and I'm going to quote Malcolm X here when he said that you should never look down on someone because of what they don't know. Because there was a point in time when you didn't know everything that you know now. So, if you'd like to know more about Stolen Legacy, the book, I think you should go straight to the source and pick up a copy so you can read it for yourself. I happen to have a copy of Stolen Legacy right here. Stolen Legacy. I believe that stolen legacy stuff. I believe that stolen legacy should be a part of any person's personal home library 
And if you don't have a home library, it should be like the content of the book should still be like in your personal Rolodex because this is truth that everybody needs to know. Um, so if you are interested in buying a copy of this book, um, I have this book for sale on my Amazon.com online bookstore. You can order from me. Um, this this is a copy of the book that I have for sale. It has a unique cover that's different from the other sellers online from KJ Books. Here's the cover up close by George G. M. James. And it also has a rare picture of the author on the back, which is also pretty cool because pictures are of him are pretty scarce online. So go ahead and order this book from me and you will have this special edition copy. And um, after you finish reading it, maybe you can pass it on to your friends so that they can read it also. But if you do that, you might not get it back. So maybe you should buy two copies, one for you and one for a friend because it makes a great gift. Of course, books make great gifts always. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. And the bottom line is that everyone should know their history because if you don't know where you come from, then you don't know where you're going.